an important aspect of bringing people together, and here in downtown Springdale, that's very important to the community. Every year, older and more established restaurants find themselves in competition with newer, faster, and more often popular restaurant chains. We wondered what the community had to say about this phenomenon. Well, I prefer these older businesses because I like mom and pop stores, yes. and I like to um, contribute to the local economy, so I much prefer. And I, I think too many of the chain restaurants kind of ruins that spirit that they're trying to establish here. Mm -hmm. And you can see all the construction going on in downtown Springdale, so everyone is working really hard to get these downtown businesses up and going again. Yeah. Local Tex-Mex chain restaurant Con Queso will celebrate its one year of establishment next month. We asked one employee about their thoughts on traditional restaurants and chains in downtown Springdale. I don't know, I feel like I haven't seen much of like downtown, but I feel like most of these businesses have been here for so long. Like, I feel like everyone gets a pretty good amount of business. I mean, we're slow most of the time. Like we have really busy days, but most of the time around like one or two o'clock, I feel like everyone slows down a lot up here. I mean, I like it all. It's a, uh, I feel like it's good to mix it up. I think people, especially in this community, have now learned that if you go to Taco Bell, you're gonna get, you know, a Taco Bell taco, but if you come to a place like Mr. Taco Loco, then you're going to get a tradition, a more traditional Mexican taco, the little street tacos. So, yes, they're taking away from um, like the mom and pop type businesses, but I think that people, especially my age group, we love to come to these places. We would rather eat here than go through the Taco Bell. So I'm going to, I'll come here every time for a taco. <laughs> Although newer chains are being established, more and more in downtown Springdale, it seems community members are prepared to support all types of businesses regarding all ages. For FHS-TV, I'm Caitlin Shaw.